massive protest in Bangalore over the rape of a six-year-old girl in school, allegedly by her teachers. How does the chief minister react? Look at the images we are about to show you. He was caught napping in the state assembly even as this issue was being discussed in the assembly. The city is outraged. The chief minister has reinforced the image of a politician who is completely unaffected by whatever the people may think. The outcry over deteriorating law and order situation. He did come out, listen in to his weak defense also. The government is taking all necessary steps. Don't say, sir. And uh, it is true that some incidents have been happened. They should not have been happened. But sir, the opposition has been saying that today when they were discussing the floor of the house, especially Mr. Uh, when Mr. Vishweshwar uh, Kagel was discussing about that, he got his sleeping. No, I was not sleeping. Who told you? The visuals of them and the opposition said you were caught sleeping and you were not even listening to the debate because it's such it an important issue. Sir, it's not correct. Sir, BJP is demanding very much attentive and I was listening to them. The IT capital of India is simmering. There's anger. It's new tag. Instead of being IT city, it's been now being called rape city. The school where this six-year-old child was allegedly raped by her gym instructor, that school remains shut today. Parents are unwilling to send their children to school till there are satisfactory security systems put in place. Also, the school has to accept responsibility of safety and security of children instead of several schools now in Bangalore asking parents to sign an indemnity bond that they are not responsible for what may happen to their children at school. Rohini Swami and Ratnika Sharma bring you this report. The country's IT hub shocked and embarrassed by a rape. Rape of a six-year-old that shook up an entire country. And while protests continue in Bangalore, the chief minister literally caught napping in the assembly. That too during a discussion on rape. While a city expresses outrage, its helplessness over a crumbling law and order situation, Siddharamaya reinforcing the image of a politician who is simply not interested. An embarrassed chief minister later clarified. But sir, the opposition has been saying that today when they were discussing the floor of the house, especially Mr. Uh, when Mr. Vishweshwar uh, Kagel was discussing about that, he caught his sleeping. No, I was not sleeping. Who told you? The visuals of them and the opposition said you were caught sleeping and you were not even listening to the debate because it's such it an important not, issue, sir. It is not correct. Sir, sir BJP is demanding very much sir. attentive and I was listening to them. After Thursday's protest by parents outside the school, things were quieter today, with the school closed till Sunday. School management's lukewarm response and the fact that the police have still not been able to arrest the culprits has left parents even more dissatisfied and angry. However, they say they will not call off the protest and continue to keep the movement alive. The matter was however kept on the burner by activists protesting outside the state assembly. Various organizations protesting the rape of a six-year-old student by teachers. Parents, meanwhile, are meeting the school authorities on Tuesday and say that they will keep up the pressure till then. Behind me, you can see ABVP protesting against the six-year-old rape that happened in school. Uh, the police is trying to stop them from coming inside the school, but uh, the, the, the protest seems to have turned uh, massive and, and definitely political. Ratnika Sharma in Bangalore for headlines today.